Hello everybody and uh, welcome to Arganian's Puzzle Box. Um, in today's video I just want to have a little bit of a conversation about the state of play of uh, just the industry in general surrounding Unreal Engine and just where we're headed. I also want to show you guys a very quick tutorial on how to get uh, mega scans added to your collectibles. So if you want to see that just skip over to the chapter that uh, deals with this if you'll be see you'll be able to see it in the description below. Anyway, so yeah, Unreal Engine um, is now moving its marketplace, well Epic are moving their marketplace to Fab. They're doing it officially now. It's uh, happening in October of 2024. Um, I've already received invites to migrate my projects over to um, this new platform, Fab. Uh, it seems that um, to start off with, it will be able to support all the Unreal Engine Marketplace assets and then it will move on to Sketchfab, you know, support Sketchfab assets. Um, and ultimately, they will also support the RStation uh, Marketplace, um, I think next time, you know, next year, in 2025. I'm not really sure when, but yeah, they said they were going to do that. I'm actually, um, I don't know what to say, to be honest, because the Unreal Engine Marketplace is a very good platform to uh, find and sell assets although it's very limited in some ways like for example i am a publisher and i find it to be a bit difficult to work around the fact that it has virtually no analytics like the only analytics that you see on the unreal, unreal engine marketplace is just some um, you know how many sales you made, made yesterday or in the past few days and how well some products are performing, but you can't really see how many visits you've had. You can't really see how many people have added your products to the cart and then not decided to buy it or have decided to buy it at some point. So there's no real conversion rate or anything like that. Everything is being kept uh, rather obscure by Epic. And I'm, I'm not really sure why. I mean, I find it to be quite weird. And, and also they don't really allow you to put a sale on whenever you want. You have to follow their rules. And if they don't invite you in a sale, then you can't actually, you know, put any discount on your products, which again is a bit unfortunate. I mean, there are other websites like ArtStation doesn't allow you to put products on sale on, you know, on site, general, general, you know, the whole site. You, you can't just put everything on sale that you have uh, unless there is a general sale on the website that is happening within the category of the products that you have. But what's, uh, what, what's different on ArtStation is that you can actually add discount codes so you can give people products at a discount rate if you'd like, so you can make your own marketing and things like that. With Unreal Engine Marketplace, it's not really possible. Now, I'm not really sure what they're really doing for Fab. They haven't told us the, crea the creators anything, which is a bit, again, a bit odd. Like, there's a lot of information that you can probably dig up from just looking through forums or whatever sort of snippets of information they may have laid across here and there, but I find it to be a bit, as I said, just a little bit lackluster it's not great um and they've also made some changes now to uh, mega scan so they're no longer going to be free from 2025 so if you don't get them now added to your collect collections you may not actually have access to them in 2025 you will have to pay a premium rate for them they're not going to be very expensive uh, on their own if you think about it but if you need a lot then it's going to cost you a lot of money currently there's like 18,000 assets on the mega scan library and people have found solutions to basically save them all up in their um, collectibles. So, I mean, that's something that you could probably do. Um, there is actually a script that you can run for a website. So I'm just going to like, you know, put this in the, put the link in the description below. Um, and I'm actually going to just show you now how to do it. And then we'll get back to this conversation if you'd like to see that. In order to get the assets from Megascans, what you need to do is on this website, which I'm going to link in the description below, you will find the script over here in this link. So effectively what people are saying is that with this script, you'll be able to get all of the assets. And if you get them, uh, you know, they'll be free from fab launch at the end of uh, 2024. So you can get them then, or you can get them now. Um, some people like Unreal Sensei have said that it is not confirmed that owning the assets in Mega Scans will carry over into Fab. So you might want to just grab them after Fab releases. But, you know, honestly, I don't really know. You might as well just try it for now with the script. So with the script, basically, what you do is you open this link, which you'll be able to see it takes you over to here. Now, there are people, you know, this guy This guy has posted the script. This uh, uh, J uh, Jamie fan has uh posted the script over here there are people below who have made some modifications to it so 
might as well have a look through here for example this guy made some uh, tweaks in order to not get that many you know sort out some uh, errors so you could copy this one if you'd like well let's just for argument's sake uh, say that you're gonna go with this one what you do is um, uh, you'd select it all so you'd want to get the entire script nothing nothing else really just this script and uh, and be able to copy it and once you copy it you'd go onto the quixel mega scans website make sure you log in so i am now currently logged in and as you can see i own 15000 assets of the 18000 um so what you do here you want to go to developer options so if you press f12 on the keyboard depending on what sort of browser you're in in edge it will just give you this error but you can just say you know open dev tools which is fine and then once that's opened you want to go over to the console in here and this is where you want to start putting in the script so if i go back here uh, i believe i can't remember now if you can just copy the script itself um not really sure if there's like a i think i think you might just need to like uh, select everything just like that just to make sure that you get it so once you have the script you can go back into um, pixel mega scans and press it in but you will say in here it will give you an error so this happens on microsoft edge i'm not sure if it will happen on other browsers so what you really need to do in order to pass uh, you know to get past this point uh is that you have to allow it to actually run this please type allow pasting so you just type in allow pasting and this will allow you to actually put this code in and once that's done you press enter and you will see that it will start uh running it running the script and this will take a while uh, but if you already have assets added to it like right now it's saying do you want to add 3,521 items because that's how much i'm missing from this so i can just press ok and now it will start but if you already had assets added it might give you a lot of errors uh, if not it will just simply go through all of the assets and add everything that you do not have in order to check on the progress of this what i would um, recommend is just opening the quixel mega scans into another um, tab and then just check the asset count so if the asset count is still equal to this then that means that it's not been it's not added anything as of yet and as i said to you guys it will most likely not add anything oh actually look it's already done some so it's went from 15,353 to 15,769 and you can see it's just adding all of these very very quickly so we'll move through the list and add everything for me it should be done in a couple of minutes really maybe 10 minutes depending on your internet and so on but basically this will add all the assets to your account and then you'll be able to use them and own them for now i don't know if things will change once fab releases or once 2025 passes but i hope that's useful now let's get back to the video at hand okay so we're back to the conversation now I don't know what to say i mean again they're making some changes they're they're not necessarily following the same suit as you know what unity did or anything like that and i can understand that they can't forever give things for free and you know a lot of people have taken liberties with how they use mega scans anyway they most likely took them out of the engine and used them in other engines for their own personal projects i mean who the hell would even be able to tell let's be honest um it's eighteen thousand assets you actually think anybody will look uh, I mean, they would, but not unless unless it's very visible or, you know, a high profile type of uh, project. And I highly doubt it would. I've seen many people who have used mega scans in their Blender or 3ds Max or Maya or whatever projects. And they haven't, you know, there wasn't any, they, they shouldn't have been able to use them, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, I can understand uh, they're trying to make some money with it. I think uh, I'm not sure how Fortnite is doing nowadays, but from what I understand, it's still doing very well. But it has been one of those games that has kind of carried the engine um, over a long period of time. Um, they've, obviously, the engine is still free with, with the same sort of caveats like it used to be. Uh, they are making some changes here and there about their terms. And, you know, people are definitely on the lookout for that, of how things may change. I don't know if the if it will degrade in time. I don't know if things will, um, you know, get worse or get better. I'm not really sure, to be honest. I, I don't even know how Fab is going to perform. I mean, right now I'm getting a, I would say, a pretty decent amount of uh, traction on their website with the projects that I've got published. And I'm developing more projects and I'm currently, you know, investing in the current uh, lineup that i've got like for example the cloud forge is getting updates pretty much uh, every few months and i'm releasing some more projects as well for asteroids for environments and things like that 
Um, so yeah, I don't know how Fab is going to do because they're now adding this sort of licensing stuff where you have a personal license and a studio license while before that didn't really exist or well, it did exist, but it wasn't as visible and people didn't really care as much. But now it's really in your face and you've got two different, well, three different price structures. You've got the, the free price structure, which is nice. I mean, you can offer the project free, which is it's just cool to give people freebies. Uh, but then you have uh, these sort of things where, you know, like um, um, it, it's a, the, pro, the, the personal license is going to be one price and then the studio one is going to be another. Nothing is stopping you from putting the same price on both or not offering one, you know, one version or the other. Uh, but it is an interesting dynamic and I'm going to be quite curious to see how this is going to affect uh, creators and people who buy assets as well. Now, an interesting thing on our station, I have over 3,900 followers. Most of those people are people that have bought projects from me. Um, just, I mean, they're, they're most likely not going to transition those within uh, Fab, which means essentially that I'm actively going to use a customer base. I'm going to lose a customer base, which is. <laughs> You know, it's a bit unfortunate because whenever I pro publish a product, they can actually see it. Uh, these people do receive notifications that, you know, Arganian has now released another asset. But that's not, I don't think that's going to happen going forward with Fab. I'm sure they're going to have their own sort of like follower system in there where if you made a sale, you know, somebody bought the product from you, they will become an automatic follower of yours and whatnot. But why would I want to... <laughs> They odd. Why would I want to start from scratch again? You know. So, but yeah, they're doing that. So uh, maybe, maybe when our station migrates over to Fab, maybe they will bring in the followers that bought projects from every creator. I highly doubt it. I don't know. Maybe there'll be a migration of of, uh, of uh, accounts there. But from what I understand, our station will continue to function like our station always has. They, they might just take the marketplace off, but that doesn't mean that the actual portfolio website won't be there so if the portfolio is still there that's where the people are coming from the followers themselves so those are going to stay there i don't think you know what i mean i just don't see that transition happening so it is an interesting dynamic it's an interesting you know interesting times there might be big changes they might affect uh, you know create uh, revenue to the point where a lot of people might quit doing it or it might even it might go the other way. It might be so good, you know, people make a lot of money and 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 uh, customers are happy and they can create a lot of stuff. That would be great as well. But I will tell. I don't know if that's going to be the case. We don't know yet. Um, those are my thoughts on this. I, I will be actively looking at the topic. I'm talking to a lot of people on Discord. Feel free to join Discord if you'd like to uh, to, to join the conversation. Uh, my Discord server. The link is in the description below. Uh, but yeah, um, let me know what you guys think. Leave a few comments in, the, leave some comments in the, you know, below, and uh, ask me questions, and let's get a conversation rolling. I'm quite curious what the community thinks. Um, I'm, in a way, I'm terrified, but I'm also looking forward. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see what happens. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.